Hey guys, welcome. And I'm gonna talk today about the vegetable tans after almost a year since I uploaded a video. <laughs> a few people told me, hey Manny, what happened? What is the update on your vegetable tan boots? And they're right. Um, I'm gonna show you today my, my main uh, vegetable tan letter from NYX. This is a uh, tan brittle. This is buck brown male and this is a uh, medium brown let me sh let me start with the brittle tan and as you can see last time the toe was um more like a semicircle right now he is already flat almost flat and this is going to show to you that i've been using this boot i haven't been on the field working a lot but I've been more in my driving and doing inspections, stuff like that, right? And you can see here how the grain has already started expanding, how the texture of the boot, the character already came. Here in the front, I got a lot of water and, and a few a few mud that already impregnated on the on the leather and will not come down. Will not come off, sorry. The heel is uh, almost intact. A few scratches, almost not visible. The scratches, but this has been already worn quite a time. And this leather is absolutely flexible, very smooth, very soft. So grabbing this pair in eight inches is really no, it's not hard to break in. It's really, really, really easy to do it, it's very smooth. My arch already collapsed, it's already getting formed. As you can see, it's a soft toe. That's why I got the opportunity to expand here the band to the side, conforming my, my foot instead of elastic, where it's very round, the point. I'm gonna show it to you with the medium browns. But there you go, guys, this is middle brown. You can see here the waves already already got a lot of work with these ones. Here you're going to appreciate more the water, how the water already penetrated the leather, and you're now going to remove that. It's gonna stay there forever, which I love it. It's part of the character of the boot, cat of the character of the leather. There you go. And I love it. I really like it. When these boots I wear below sunshine, man, below the sunlight is it's almost like an orange. And I love it. It looks really nice. A few treatments that I give given is uh, each two, three months, a uh, bit of renovator, Saphir re renovator or cream or Cadillac's uh, conditioner. It's something really fast just to to condition the leather a little bit because here in South Texas it's very, 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 very hot and you can feel the leather being dry. Look, here in the tongue, this is how it looks below the, the layer, the color layer. It's almost the same like the back side. Let me, there you go. This is the grain, let me show you the grain for those interested, it's really beautiful. I like it, I like this pair a lot. I don't use it a lot, but definitely after 10 months, yes. Then is the background, I use more this one on the field. I don't know why, but I like to conservate more this pair. And as you can see here, the background mill already got dark it's getting darker with time i haven't given nothing the last time i gave some oil it was really 10 months ago or more maybe a year and here you can see the the toe cap how the mill is right there this is a very nice nice boot nice color it got quite dark 
I'm under my kitchen light. It's very bright, but I can assure to you in my Instagram, you can watch this, uh, the picture of the food. It, it looks a little darker and it's very, very flexible. The meal I already said in previous videos, but you can see how this boot had patina. Really nice, really, really nice. It's very comfortable, especially in the toe area. Already conform my, my toe. Uh, I've been watching some comments on new people who buy Knicks that they feel a little tight the boot in the beginning and it's normal. It's really, really normal. After time, you're gonna start watching how the how the band conforms to your toe, to your to the wire of your foot, and it becomes really, really, really comfortable. I don't remember what was here, I think it was oil or water. It, it was just something really small and it stayed there for the eternity in perpetuality. Which I love it. Very flexible leather, pliable. And then we have this vegetable tan, meter brown. I like to use this one more on winter. I haven't used this one too much this year, maybe three times at the most, but I'm showing you again the beauty of this color. This color, this is the one that changed a lot. This color change changed just a lot since the beginning. I, I bought, I got these ones, let me, I think two years ago. Okay, it should be on my lower boot. Yeah, 720. There you go. Beautiful color, this middle brown. I really recommend this one a lot. This is the perfect middle point between dark and light. That's why it's called medium. And patina, just amazing. I love watch this. When I get a new boot, I'm very excited about it being new, but I can tell you how time passed, I would like more watch this. Uh, well used book. Check out the grain. This one have a elastic tool. So you just be aware what happened when you have elastic and you have soft tool. This is the main difference. You can see here, and this is uh, thing number three. Uh, it's quite hard to, you're not gonna move it, but this is the main difference. So, same foot, different tool, different shape. Check. This is one of the reasons why I keep with the soft toe. I like more how it looks with time, but since I use this one in winter for work, I like more elastic while working. But light duty, casual, soft toe is, both are comfortable, actually. I don't, I don't think soft is, a, it will get you unprotected on the field. Both are really comfortable but just extra protection, why not? Highly recommend if you're a construction worker, yes, take this elastic. If this is not applying to, you're not gonna use it for work, well, it's up to you, but both are really comfortable. That's elastic tool. Steel tool, I don't use the steel tool. I don't like it, not at all. Well guys, this is my small update. Hope you like it and let me know. I'm gonna bring one more about rough outs, but I need to clean my rough outs. Are right now are really dirty, so I'm gonna I'm gonna take a bath. They're gonna I'm gonna try to clean them and then make the video. Thank you. See you next week.